I never want to lose. I don't want to tank for draft picks. No, no. I always want to see uh, Washington come out on top of every single game we play. That's the uh, period. But I think that we've also never really been in our lifetimes, and certainly in most of the people that are watching and, and reading Hawks Haven these days, they haven't. They don't. They didn't know when we were great. They've only known when we were bad. They really have never seen what a true rebuild looks like. And, and you know, if you were trying to win right now, which we've done a lot of over the last 20 years, which hasn't worked out well for us the last 20 years, that's one way you manage an organization. It's one way you coach a game. But in a true rebuild, when you have a three years' worth of draft picks pretty much dominating your roster – some, some top talent, but with a bunch of money about to be able to be spent, and a coach on year one who you're ready to commit to long term and let him steer the ship. Yeah, he's they, got the keys. You got to let him. You got to let him steer through some rocky waters, and I think that changes the way you coach games. We can argue about whether it's right or not, but when you're thinking about two and three years of a journey then, yeah, it's going to impact decisions you make in the fourth quarter of a loss to the Cleveland frickin' Browns, who just went over 500 with the win against us. You know, you turn the ball over five times to them on the road. You got a young kid out there who's done nothing but really make terrible mistakes in the most costly moments that cost them the game. The game's over. I mean, the game's over. And... In that last minute and a half, when you would have expected 99% of head coaches in the National Football League to call a timeout and send a guy out there and throw a couple Hail Marys, I mean, you're basically asking, you're basically saying, okay, you just threw like five interceptions, or you just turned it over five times uh, as, it, as an offense. Now go out there and do the thing that everyone thinks you're about to do because they know what you do with a minute and a half left and subject yourself to that. I think that, to, to Kevin, I think that is a thing that shows up in year two and three of this rebuild and it's going to piss everybody off to no end in week three of a season.